morning. Hello. How you doing? What are you doing? Meditating Jojo's What Are You In The Day video. I very much enjoyed this one. Oh, cool. Yeah, it's been a while since I've edited one of these videos and I, I forget how much I enjoy it and I forget how much you guys enjoy it as well. A lot of you guys have actually said, can we see more of his What Are You In The Day videos? And he did so well. well I can't wait to, for you guys to see it, which you have already seen it by the time you're watching this. Forget about the timing thing. What are you doing, Jojo? Writing. You're writing your story? Yeah, but don't look, don't look. We're not allowed to see what your story's about. Surprise. Oh. Well, it's good, geezer gang. I hope everybody is fine. I thought I'd come onto camera to say hello, check in with you guys. Hope everyone is having a great day so far. Let me know in the comments below what's been good about your day so far. I've had a really good morning. I've just taken a break from editing. Jojo is building some sort of, what is it? A train station, is it? Yeah. Some sort of train station plated in gold. <laughs> they live quite the luxury train station in this town, don't they? Oh, and there's a giraffe. It's a magical train station. A magical one. There's also wood underneath that holds it up. There's wood underneath that holds it up. So it's got good, good structural build. The whole gang's on the sofa here. Aragog has been joined not only by Garrett, but... What was that again? A zombie? Yeah. And a witch. Just the usual crew, eh? And they need to move because I want to sit down. Yeah, and now they've been joined by a huge giraffe. <laughs> Giraffes eat watermelon, I'm a watermelon. And Jojo's a watermelon, and apparently Daddy. giraffes eat watermelons today. We're out of here. You enjoying your cup of tea, giraffe? You having a laugh, you giraffe? This is actually Jamie's. Is this revenge? I took it. Because she goes down my wardrobe all the time and takes my clothes. But she's not here, she's gone away with her boyfriend. Yeah, she needs a break after what happened. And who have we got here? Katie. Katie? Oh, wait a minute, who's that then? Oh, that's a giraffe, and that's Katie. This is my wife. Yeah, because your other wife turned into a giraffe. So, quick notes on Jamie. First, I just want to send out the biggest thanks and love because the comments and support that we got when we shared that video of you guys about what happened to Jamie with her accident. It was really overwhelming going through those comments. It brought me to tears seeing how much love and support was poured out, sending your love and everything. And yeah, that, that that's amazing. I mean, it was hard to share that, you know, it's hard to document that, but at the same time we realised it's for the benefit of drivers and other people on the roads, and it's made me personally more aware as well. Are you aware that my, I'm just- I'm not aware head. of your head <laughs> being cut off, unfortunately. Yeah. Well, you're a giraffe, I'm not used to including giraffes in vlogs, alright? What do you think I am, David Attenborough? Now we see the giraffe slowly disappearing off camera for the homo sapien to take over. No, but again, thank you so much, yeah, guys. thanks, guys. It so means a lot, it and does. Yeah. But yeah, Jamie's doing fine, though. She's just gone away, hasn't she, for a bit as well? Yeah, she's gone away with her boyfriend. He's taken away just to help her rest. Her knees are really badly, the bruising when that came up on the knees, oh God, it just made me want to cry all over again. And her hand's pretty battered up still. But luckily, she didn't break anything. Yeah, I'm surprised. But she's that, always uh, had strong bones, hasn't she? She's, all, she's never broken a bone. No. And her foot got crushed in between the car and the bike. Yeah. And then her her hand did as well, so mm. and, and they still weren't broken, so. Yeah. She's very lucky. The driver didn't have any insurance either, so it's probably why the reason when they drove off out of fear. They found out who they are, they've trapped them down, so it's all getting processed and sorted. What have you got to show us, Jojo? What is written up there? What does it say? I love you. That's a nice message. Yeah, we can see that. We, oh, there we go. He's actually been doing some really good writing, some story writing. He's, we've also been doing some um, maths this morning as well. He's been learning about big numbers. We've been doing a game with the big numbers on the floor. It's hard to explain exactly what we've been doing, so I'll just show you now. Okay, what number is that, Jojo? 45,300,000. Yeah, well done, yes mate. Didn't believe I could do that, did ya? So yeah, that's kind of what it is basically. And in order this time, you've just collapsed in the corner giraffe, have you? You want me to bring you some leaves? Do you know why? Because we went out last night. Yes. And we got back. So like we went to this thing called Vegan Night on the other side of London. It was such a good night, but we ended up getting back here at about one in the morning. Luckily our friend Adam, thanks to Adam. Big shout out Adam. Came and took care of Jojo for us. Yeah, and Jojo had a great time with him. And so this is what we wanted to share with you guys. While we were out last night, Jojo, tell something was happened. going on here, wasn't it Jojo? Yeah. What was happening while we were out last night? What was happening? We were playing Monopoly and lots of fun. I mean more than the fun. What's the big thing that really happened that we're going to share with the geezer gang? I don't know. Meow, meow. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> what happened? She was pregnant last night. She was pregnant last night, but what happened at the resulting end of the pregnancy? They had kittens. 
She gave birth, yes, the kitten. Man, you were killing me how long we were gonna get to that. It was like the suspense, you're just building it up even more. So yes, Katsumi gave birth to her kittens last night while we were out, Sam sat with her the whole time. She was pretty much meowing to us the whole of yesterday, wasn't she? Mm. Like, she never really meows, but she was meowing for us to come sit with her. Me and Katie were doing shifts, and Sam came back and sat with her, and then we went out. And we thought, you know, she didn't seem to be settling down, so we thought it's not gonna be yet. But yeah, it happened while we were gone. So we've got four little kittens. Shall we go and see the kittens, Mom? Yeah, let me show them, let me show them. Let you can show, show them. them. Ah! Oh, go! So as Jamie's away, Katsumir was almost seeking out a place yesterday, somewhere quiet and kind of enclosed where she could have them. So we set up a blanket under Jamie's desk here and had a blanket hanging over just so it was a bit more secluded. This is where she settled in the end. She's got four little babies just feeding right now. It's nice as well. She, those pipes there, they're heating pipes and they get warm. Yeah, it so keeps the area nice and warm. I think what's so beautiful is obviously being someone who's experienced and seen childbirth. It's just beautiful just to see nature just take place. No procedure, no midwives or anything like that. Like, you know, we need that structure with humans and as much as we may feel we're advanced more than animals like cats, they just know exactly what to do and how to do it and they just get on with it. Mm. And it's just, I don't know, it's just beautiful that we've got to experience this. There's a black and white one, a stripy one. And then two that look just almost all black, don't they? I don't know if they've got white markings I think, underneath. I think one's got a white nose. Good, good mummy. Mm. Good mummy, aren't you? So for those of you who haven't seen it, Katsumi, before, just to explain, she isn't actually you know, our cat. She doesn't live with us, but she lives with a neighbour nearby and she's just, in the last year, started coming and spending time with us. And as she's pregnant, she's wanting to nest with us and we'll literally stay here all the time and then go out for food, go back to the other place where she lives. But she's obviously felt she's wanted to be with us and this is the second time she's done it, last time she did it, but as she was in labour, the woman that she lives with come and collected her, so. I feel good that she's got to spend this time with us where she wanted to have the babies but it's just now it's not our responsibility she isn't essentially our responsibility oh what have giving, you got there giving her a crystal okay. all right don't go too near it, yeah no. don't go close because you can't put your what i think we'll do smell Jojo, yeah you can't put your move this away okay? yeah she doesn't like it there yeah oh how about if i get one of my big crystals and pop it there but just like that so it doesn't block can there you up? go a nice crystal for her to look at so even though at some point we'll have to inform the lady who is essentially responsible for cats in here. In the meantime, I'd be interested to know what cute uh, kitten names have you got? Comment below if you've got any fun, nice suggestions. Loads of going through my head right now. Right, so we just went out. We went for a little walk down to a park and had some play. And then uh, we stopped to see the lady about the cats. We forgot to take the camera though. No. And uh, we've come back to this. Well, I'm not too happy about this Aragog. What do we tell you about having parties when we go out of the house? I think. I ordered something from the internet and it all came in this packaging, which is so annoying because it's not good for the environment. We recycle these things in the sense that we bag them up and then Jojo likes to get them out and play with them. So it was an Aragog then? Yeah, we left the place in a mess before we left, yes. in other words. So yeah, we went to speak to the lady that Katsumir normally lives with. Katsumir actually went back to get some food from there earlier and then come back because we, you know, we don't have meat so we've got nothing to feed her. Did she say she didn't know she was pregnant? She didn't know she was pregnant. Katsumir was huge. How can you not notice that? But for the last few months now, she's been going in and out. But then again, when we came back, we noticed how big she was and she yeah. would have been living there for six weeks. Anyway, she was really surprised and she was very apologetic and we were saying, no, it's fine. She's agreed and you know, we both said, oh, you know, are you okay to come and collect them? And she said that, yes, she will come and collect them and sort out the situation. I said they can stay here for as long as they she wants them to because it's best not to move them anyway, straight yeah, away. Exactly. Because you can't put out, we can't put our scent on them and you yeah know, start and they're hiding. still feeding yeah yeah so she said oh can i give it a few days i said yeah that's yeah. fine so they're gonna be with us for a few days which is kind of nice because I, I wasn't ready to just say goodbye to them it's been nice okay. having them all there uh, but one good thing is i said to her you know she needs to get the cat neutered I guess, isn't it? Yeah. um and i told her about i think the people in the comments said the cat protection agency you geezer gang you yeah. helped us out with that one yeah so so she can get it done for free i mean i would have offered to do it for her anyway yeah it's it, hard isn't it yeah and you end up with all these your cats are all over the place and they get neglected and yeah, I think it's the best thing to do. But what we forgot to mention during this whole thing is that Katie went out in her coat, boots, and still dressed as the giraffe. 
And do you know what? See, what's funny is that the tail was poking out. <laughs> Nobody noticed though. I wish I'd unzipped it. Yeah, that's it, in front. They, they'd be like, what are some crazy women like you doing looking after that cat? This is the cutest thing though. You do look cute. I think I'm gonna steal it off Jamie. Yeah. It Stolen. Good. Sorry, Jamie. Yeah. So we're just gonna round up this video, guys, because I've got a shoot out to an appointment. I hope you've enjoyed seeing the kittens and seeing how this has all unfolded. An an Aragog, Ari. Just before I round up this video though, I just want to give some shout outs to some of you lovely people who have requested them. So shout out to Cranberry7123, Arrogames, Sequins O'Brien X, Team Broccoli. Yeah, they've been going strong for a long time. And this natural journey. And there's also a few of uh, you who wanted a shout out specifically from Jojo. Shout out to Axel and Caprice. Very good. And shout out to Ethan as well. He's, he's doing a good job. <laughs> <laughs> thanks so much, guys, for requesting your shout outs. And thanks, guys, for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up if you have. It's a short one. It's a short one, but they all count. And if you're new to this channel, we'd love it if you subscribe via that red button or via our good friend Garrett Pinky down in the corner there. He's that pink poo. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks so much. Peace out. Bye. Oh. <laughs> I should flipping forget this every time, man.